Previously, we have used control net to generate this very nice image of this lady on the beach. The generated images have pretty bad face. I'm going to show you how to up res it, and how to make it look much better using an upscaling workflow. And in order to do that, we need a script called Ultimate Upscaler. First, you need to go to extensions and you need to click on install from URL. Here's the page of this extension. It's called Ultimate SD Upscale. I'll provide the link in the description below. All you have to do is to copy this URL and click on here, URL for extension Git repository, paste it and click install. Once it's done already, right? Go back to here and click apply and restart UI and restart your stable diffusion from Google Collab. It will run through another cell and give you a new link. Once that is done, come back into the new restarted stable diffusion. And let's say you have an image which you generated. It's not bad, but you wish it had better details and stuff like that. First thing you do, click on send to image to image here. And you automatically bring you to the second tab here, image to image and bring all the details over here. The prompts, negative prompt, your image and stuff like that. Most of the parameters are okay. Just make sure that you adjust two things. First thing, the sampling method, it always goes to the default Euler A. Select your sampler. And then the height would somehow always go to 536. It's always off by a bit. So check the height, 540, make sure that it's a proper landscape. For denoising strength, reduce it to 3.5. What denoising strength is, is the higher it is, the more changes you see to your original image. We don't want that to happen too much. So we are reducing it from the default 0.7 to 0.35. Feel free to experiment which one works best, but the lower it is, the closer you get to your original image. Once that is done, the only thing left to do is to click on this script here and select Ultimate SD Upscale. That is the script that we just installed. It will show you more parameters. Just follow this. Target image size, change to scale from image size. You can keep the scale at two, what this does is that it will increase from 960 to 540 to 1920 by 1080, which is your standard HD size. On Upscaler, select R-E-S-R-G-A-N. This will fix faces. For the type here, select chest. And for the tau width, select 768, 768. Mask blur change to 16. Padding can remain as 32. And that is all. I'll explain what this chest thing is when the image is generating. You'll be able to see really clearly. Once all this is done, scroll back up and just click generate. The process is much slower. It's supposed to have a preview here, but it's not showing. So I'll show, uh, I'll describe what happens. So it's basically taking a box here and generating a 768 image and taking another box here and generating another 76H and it creates little boxes here and all these boxes are high res so it's regenerating each part of the image that's why you have a chest and that's why it is in 768 and since it's generating so many mini boxes it takes longer than your text to image generation let's take a look at the generated image way much nicer features way cleaner skin and way better hair compared to the text to image. You have pretty blurry faces, there's something weird with the nose and the lips, right? The skin is not really that great. Once that is done, if you want to take this a step further and upscale it even more, you can always send to extras over here. Click on this button, send to extras. In extras, we just have to increase double the size by two and choose an upscaler that you prefer. I use Ultra Sharp. You can always download Ultra Sharp, or you can use RES Gun 4X. Up to you. I choose out four times Ultra Sharp, and I click Generate. Okay, image generated. Let's check. Way sharper, way nicer image compared to our original image here. That's it. Hope you like this series of workflow. Happy generating images and bye.